I ask to Professor King Okuma to come here and take the stage with its Lezio Magistralis. The title is Smallness. Please. Buongiorno. <laughs> Uh, it's really a great honor for me uh, to receive uh, the, this uh, laurea. <laughs> laurea. Uh, the, today, uh, so I want to the talk about, the, about the, what I'm thinking now. But uh, after uh, the Professor Pizzi's great speech, I don't need to add something. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, so, but uh, but I have anyway. I have to speak something to you in front of you. As a as a as a, that I selected some slides for today, as mainly about the small architectures, because I think smallness is a key word of 21st century architecture. And in 20th century, the bigness was very important. So for example, you know, skyscrapers in New York, as uh, they were competing about the height of the building. And so always the, the bigness and the, uh, as, uh, and the scale was the, the main issue of 20th century's architecture. But if the, the architecture is for human being, the human body is not so big. And the, if the architecture as a, as a want to create the friendship with human body, the smallness is key word. And uh, I, I want to show some of the examples. This one? As a, as the first project I show you, t uh, you today is Chidori. And, uh, and I want to start the, from the small project in Milan, in here. So probably you know this space. This is uh, the courtyard of um, Palazzo Cesco. Uh, uh, so I was asked to design a small temporary pavilion for this small space. And uh, the, the I found the good hint in Japan. This is a hint. This is a small toy, a traditional toy in Japan. And uh, the good thing for this toy is this is the structures without any metal joint. And the only wood is, is, can make anything with a very special joint system. And this is a traditional toy, but at the same time, the wisdom in the toy is amazing. And for me, as a, as a, as a, the history and tradition is always the, the, the big ocean of hint. And I want to explain this system. So we should prepare the three types of joint. And the first joint is here, second and third. And if the, we, as, as have, we can have this uh, the process, we can fix it, and, the, and we can the, make any kind of shape by the use of this system. And we brought, we carried those small sticks from Japan to Milano, and we can the, the construct this small pavilion in three days with my student. Without any special carpenters, our student can complete this structure. As, 
as a Professor Pizzi explained my book about organic architecture, and organic is a keyword as a, of as a, my recent project. In 20th century, the beginning of 20th century, the Frank Lloyd Wright and other architects the, the were thinking about organic architecture. But at that time, the organic means the shape of the building. So they study the shape of the, the human body and the shape of the, uh, some animals and the shape of the vegetables as uh, the plants and as uh, they the, uh, designed organic architecture, but those buildings are, was following the shape of those lives. But I think in 21st century, the organic means the internal system of life. The, and then the, the next step is to complete the real building by the use of that internal system. So we tested that system in my university level, the, how strong it is. The always the engineer, engineering, and aesthetics should go together. Probably your university, so for your university, the, those both wheels are very important, the beauty and engineering. And, the, and after those tests, so we so draw this uh, the system, uh, the, the diagram, and uh, this is our section, uh, the sectional idea. The 10 meters building uh, can be supported by this internal system. And this is the result. And uh, each element is very small. And it's just a six centimeter by six centimeter section. And for human body, it is very friendly. It is it's very it's a small, and uh, we can create the good relationship with human body. And this is interior. And the, good, and the important thing for this project is it start from Milano project. <laughs> And also for us, the going to the next project based on the last project is important. So each project is the one part of the continuous steps. And next, pro next project is the bridge, but the structural system is based on the, the, the Milano project. This is the bridge, the wooden bridge. In, uh, in, in the mountain. And this is the interior. We want to show the internal s the system. So we want to expose internal system because internal system is most important in organic architecture. And for this, the village, the, I did a second project. It's a small hotel, so, 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 so inspired by this small pavilion. The so material is also very important so for me because in the material, so we can get many hint. And this is a, the traditional material, but the use of, of material is not so conventional. Each block can be rotated to introduce natural wind to the interior. This is the detail of the unit, and this is the material. And the, I think the, if the, I can use this the tradition, old material, the, the tradition cannot be stopped because the craftsman who can make this the block is disappearing. It is a very, very pity situation. And then so I worked with them, and they are so excited because the, for them, this, this is the first trial. And then, the, the, and then and the history and tradition can keep going. 
this is interior. And the, the, for the, the unique client, the Starbucks, the, the we uh, did a similar idea. And the location is very special. In front of the major temple in Kyushu area, so we propose that design for Starbucks. And so we want to show the new idea also for the, uh, the global uh, the company. Uh, so th this as a system is a little bit different from Milano system. Milano system is a 90 degrees, but this system is a 30 degrees and 60 degrees. And this is not decoration. This system is supporting the building. And the next project, as a, probably you don't know this project. This is under construction in Japan. So we turn the building, Starbucks, and make it vertical structure. And this will be completed at the end of this year. And the, the new things for this project is Starbucks is a one-story building. But this is a three-story building supported by this unique system. And uh, this is a, as a, as a diagram of this structure. And this is not easy to calculate. <laughs> and special as a mathematics, a special as a calculation is needed for this. And the, the next small project is also started from Italy. The Italian stone company has asked me to design a small pavilion. And my idea is make the stone as thin as possible. For this case, the thickness of the stone is one thin centimeter. And one centimeter it itself is very small, but if we can create a triangular structure system, it's become very strong structure. So I made this pavilion for the uh, first time in Verona. And the, I was so impressed by the technique of Italian craftsmanship. In Japan, the carpenters, wooden carpenters is, is amazing. But in Italy, st stone craftsmen are amazing. And the next step is to translate this idea to aluminum. Uh, that this is uh, <coughs> for the, the very tr as old as the street in north of Japan. And uh, we uh, as worked with the aluminum company as, uh, to design that special triangular system. And uh, please as a look at the disjoint. And uh, this hexagonal joint as, uh, can as, uh, extend any direction. And also, the, uh, this is uh, easy uh, to work with than uh, the stone, because it's a very light and, the, and the, as a more strong than the stone, the one centimeter plate. And the, my next step is to make the house by the use of this system, because this aluminum system itself is very strong uh, that can as a, strong enough for creating one house. And also, the, I worked with my student. And the student's the idea is the house doesn't need flat floor. The, the each section, unique section, can the, create the special space. For example, bedrooms or living rooms and the entrance, the no flat floors. As a, but it can work with the, as a flexibility of human body. And this is the house we completed. And this is the kitchen. And the, <laughs> the important thing for this small project is the, the unit is single. The, it's not complicated. In 20th centuries, we need many things. The, the kitchen unit, the refrigerators, and the many, many things. 
we should con consume many things. But for this house, only a single unit. It is the same as the body of life. One single cell that can create anything. And as I learned many things from body. And the next step is a small shop in Osaka. So, so we worked with the same company, the aluminum company. But we didn't use aluminum. We only used the, the joint system. And this joint system. And so we can create this kind of the free form. But form is not so important. The important thing is internal system. And the, the next is the, the Italian project. Also, it's a hint. So I don't know why, but the, the Italia is, is the mother of the hint for us. <laughs> and the, this product is for the Reggio Emilia. It's just a, the public, as a monument. And the, for this project, the material is a ceramic tile and the stainless pipe. As we combine the tile and pipe, and the tile itself is a structural element. Probably, as a, it is one of the first projects the, which use ceramic tile as a, as a part of structure. So, as always, uh, the tile is a, the material for cladding, the concrete and ceramic tile. It's, a, it's uh, something like the, the surface, but for this project, tile is structure. And also we worked with the, the structure engineers. So he calculated the how strong the ceramic tile is. As a contemporary technology of ceramic tile is amazing, especially the Italian pro the technology of ceramic tile is amazing, and the, we, could, we could use those materials. It's a kind of weaving the, of tile and pipes. And, uh, and through those projects, the today, as I just show you the smaller project, the through those projects, we can find the many hint for future, future architecture. The future architecture, I believe, is a friend of human body, the friend of human. And the, if the architecture and human are fighting, the, our future is very dark. But if the, we can create the, the happy relationship, the, we the, can have the big dream on future. Thank you very much.